Twins hosting the Phillies, and the Phillies are minus 165. On the money line, the Twins are plus 130. The over-under is eight and a half runs. The Phillies laying a run and a half on the run line are plus 115, meaning if you bet them that way, they have to win by two or more. And the Twins getting a run and a half on the run line are minus 135, meaning if you bet them that way and they win this game outright, you win. They lose by one, you win. It is supposed to be 71 degrees, no rain, and six mile an hour winds blowing in for tomorrow's game. Neither of these pitchers pitched against the opposing team this season. Head to head, they're five and five against each other. The home team is five and five. The favorite is six and four on the money line, while the underdog getting a run and a half on the run line is six and four. There have been two one run games in their last 10. The over is five, four, and one, and the over eight and a half runs is six and four. The Phillies are three and two in Nola's last five starts. The over is three and two in those starts. They did lose his last start. Six innings pitched, 5.4 hits, 2.4 earned runs, 7.2 strikeouts, 0.6 walks, 0.8 home runs, 94.8 pitches per game, 15.6 pitches per inning. The Phillies are 5-5 five and five in their last 10, 2-2 two two in their last 4. The under is 6-4 and four in their last 10. Five runs, six runs, nine runs, three runs. One run and a loss, six runs and a win, two runs and a loss, and then three runs and a win today. And the Twins are 4-6 and six in their last 10. The over-under is 5-5, five and, five, and they're 1-4 in their last 5. 12 runs, 15 runs, 9 runs, 3 runs. 4 runs and a loss, 7 runs and a loss, 7 runs and a win, shutout, and a loss today. I'm kind of confused as to why the Phillies aren't a heavier favorite right now, but I'm going to take the Phillies with the money line. I will take the Phillies laying the runs, and I'm going under. These are just my picks. If you disagree, please go with your gut, and please bet responsibly.